Meantime, officials say Irma's predicted unusual path up the state will not only be destructive, but could also impact emergency response teams. CBS's Don Champion reports from Daytona Beach. So many people tried getting out of Florida Friday that drivers were allowed to use the emergency shoulder of a northbound highway. Few places here will be spared from Hurricane Irma's impact. This storm is wider than our entire state. Think about that. It's wider than our entire state. The storm's projected path up the spine of Florida will mean the majority of the state will face hurricane force winds. We're in a position right now where where do you go? Mike Chitwood is the sheriff of Volusia County, which includes the city of Daytona Beach. He's concerned most about wind damage. After mandatory evacuations were ordered in several places, Chitwood warned anyone who stayed behind might risk being on their own for at least three days. To let them know, you know, there may be a time that we can't help you, depending on wind speeds. We might not be able to get to you. It's, it's kind of, it's kind of, it goes against everything that you do. High water vehicles are already on standby. SWAT vehicles have even been outfitted for paramedics. But the recovery here could take longer than in previous storms, since resources are spread so thin. Power outages, for example, could last days and not hours. When Hurricane Matthew hit this area last October, Volusia County alone had more than 3,000 power line workers on standby to respond. Bond. This weekend, only about 700 are here. 7,000 Florida National Guard members have been deployed across the state. Don Champion for CBS3 Eyewitness News.